Creating gift guides can be really powerful for your online store. You likely see a lot of them come the holiday times where people are creating them for their business that are a collection of products and you include your products in that list. So an example could be, you know, the best gifts for the grill master or the mom to be. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to very quickly create them for your business and you don't just have to use them around the holidays, you can create them year round. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann, and if you're new here, I have been a Shopify expert for over six years now. And while I love the Shopify platform, e-commerce in general and creating an online store can be incredibly powerful. Whether you have a brick and mortar business or you're drop shipping products, or you're just getting started creating your own products to sell online. One of the great ways that I love to really get some organic reach in a business is to create a series of gift guides and specifically use these to target people on Pinterest and Pinterest traffic. Now, you're most likely going to see these a lot during the holidays that are top Christmas presents for a dancer or for the grill master or the mom-to-be or the dad-to-be. However, you can create them year-round. For example, we have Mother's Day and Father's Day and so many other events that are throughout the year that you can use and create a gift guide for and have it to be where you're including your products as well as others as well that are very complimentary and you're having it all in one guide as well as a list of the brand that is selling the product, the price, and then you can include in the post on either Pinterest or on a blog post on where to actually purchase the product. So it's great to be featured in one of these with your product and it's also great to create them for your product as well. So it can actually be really quick to do this and I want to hop into my screen now and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this with my favorite free software, Canva. So you can very quickly go in and add any kind of styling that you want as well as products, your logo, any kind of decoration items to really beef up that gift guide and make sure it's gonna be a lot more likely to get clicked on. So let's hop into my computer now and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get started. Okay, I am in my Canva account right now. Um, if you don't have a Canva account, it is free to sign up. So you can just go to canva.com and go ahead and sign up uh, and then you can get started. So they have some pre-built designs already. So if you hit create a design, you can get a lot of different options. So we are just gonna hit browse all. So you can see all of the different options. It's great to use for social media posts or for ads as well. So there are a lot of different options that you can use once you have your Canva account created. But for this example, for creating a gift guide, I'm just gonna do create a design and then custom dimensions because I want it to be a specific size for Pinterest. So for Pinterest, I'm gonna do the width of 800 and the height of 900. And I'm gonna hit create design. And then now you can see over here, it's bringing in a lot of examples of what you could do and how you can make your design. So if you wanted to, there are some that say free and there are some that are paid. Um, so the free ones you'll see when you hover over it, it does say free. So for example, let's find one um, that is free. So we could just get this one right here. We would just drag it, drop it over. And so now it is resized for the area that you want it to be. What's really cool then is that you can go in and just change all of the text to be exactly how you want. So you could come in and say, you know, best gifts for Father's Day. Okay, and you can change that how you want. Then we would want to, you know, let's move this down a little. And you can move and drag and drop things however you want. So this is cool if you're working with a pre-designed style. Um, let's say you wanna make it your brand colors. We can then click on, I've clicked on this big blue area and I can then make it a different color. So I've changed it now to gray. Uh, we can then come in and then change this photo. So they do have some photos that you can use. If you click on the photos area on the left-hand side, you can see photos that are free photos as well as different ones that you can pay for. So we can just take this photo 
and we can drag it and drop it in to this area. Okay, and then I'm just gonna double click it and it can now be moved around inside this box. If you wanted to make it a little bit taller and go the full distance, we can just stretch it up and down. And then again, just make sure by double clicking that you've moved it however you want in this box. So this would be a great way to edit something that was more like a social media post. You can use the pre-designed styles, but to do a gift guide, you really want to actually create and upload different products. So to do that, you would go to the uploads area and you can upload your images here. Also, we can come in and go to elements and create more of a grid structure. So let's go to grids here and click all. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select and delete everything that we have on the desktop here. And I'm gonna change this back to a white background. So kind of like we're starting fresh again, but you can see here that you have all of these different grid structures that you can do. So for a gift guide, we would want to feature a few different products. So let's come in and let's choose an example here. We can just choose, let's do this style. I'm just gonna select it and it's pulled over here now. So you can see the style I chose has four different images. So here you would want to add in your product images that you have. So let's go to photos on the left hand side and we'll just pull in some sample photos for now. So we can take this image here and let's just pull this over to one side and I'm just going to again double click in so that we can make sure it's how we want it to be cut into the style. So it's fitting it already in this predefined space which is really nice and saves you some time. So then we can use, let's say this image here for our main one. We could put that in uh, and then continue on with all of the images that we would want to include for products. Now to add in some text, let's click on the text on the left hand side and you can see that there are a lot of styles already. So you can add just a simple heading, subheader or body text. However, there's a couple that are already kind of really nicely stacked typography that you can use. So for example, let's go ahead and pull this in. And I am just going to go to the side of the image and I'm gonna shrink it down so that it fits in the space a little bit better. And I'm gonna move it up to the top. So again, it's very drag and drop of just editing this. So now we can say for this top area, we could say the ultimate gift guide for your mom this Mother's Day. Okay, so you can see that it's already kind of stacking it where we had put it before, it doesn't really fit. So we're just gonna have to change the text a little bit. So what we can do is we can make it just a little bit wider and then we can come in and let's pull this down from the top as well. We can then come in and we can just select this text that we want to be smaller. And you can see here you have all these different choices on the top. We could change the font to a different font if you wanted it to be, as well as you can change the size, the color, bold, italics, center. You have so many different options just like you would with a Word document. So let's change this and make it a lot smaller and see if it fits in the space better. So now it's already fitting a lot better. Um, and so we can go just a little bit smaller, see if we can get it all on one line, okay? And we'll add in the last bit of text. Just to make it a little bit more enticing. And again, I'm going to select on this and I'm going to make it a thinner font. So I'm just going to click in here and I'm going to see what they have of different font choices. So I'm scrolling down. We can see all of the different fonts that they have. Now let's see. You can also type it in if you have a specific font in mind. So I'm just gonna do the same font, but I'm gonna do a thinner font version. Okay, that may be a little too thin. So you may actually have to go back to the regular version. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this again a bit smaller. And then now, 
you can see that there's a lot of spacing in between the letters. So I'm gonna just go to spacing and I'm gonna decrease that. So that's the letter spacing is in between the letters and the line height is in between the different lines if you were typing out a paragraph. So I'm just gonna decrease that just a little bit. Okay, and then make it just a little bit smaller as well. And let's make this top just a little bit smaller as well. Okay, and now we can come in, I'm just gonna make this fit a little bit better so that it doesn't run over all of the edges. And there you have it. So you can have your text exactly how you want. You can drag and drop it to where you want and then put all of the different images of products that you want to feature. So you could vary it up of have different, having different styled images compared to just products on a white background. Um, like we had seen at the beginning of this video for the Mother's Day where it was just a lot of products on a white background. So you can do a variety of different styles and again, just drag and drop it how you want. So once you have your design done and you're ready to use it and pin it on Pinterest and put it on your site, you can then come into this download arrow. And if you click on it, you then see all of the different options. So you could choose to have it a variety of different sizes. You really won't need to do uh, the high quality PDF uh, or just the PDF in general, unless you were wanting to attach it into like an email. Typically you're gonna to wanna to do the PNG, so that way it's gonna be a high quality image. And you would just hit download and it would start downloading to your computer and then you could pin it on Pinterest and put it on your Facebook page or a blog or wherever it is that you're wanting to feature your guide. So it's really easy to go in and make these gift guides. So there's really no reason to not be doing these for each holiday. And I would definitely think about trying to create them a couple weeks before the holiday so if you think about it for Mother's Day, like in this example, people aren't buying their Mother's Day presents that week most likely, at least not online. Um, they would be buying those a couple weeks out so they had enough time to ship to them and wrap them and potentially even send them on through the mail to their mom as well. So you wanna make sure that you're creating gift guides like this about a month out in advance for the holiday so that way it can get some traction and it also gives people enough time to purchase. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you're able to quickly create a gift guide featuring your products. Now I want you to brainstorm different ideas that you have of gift guides and ways that you can target your audience in different points throughout the year and make sure that you are kind of getting these guides out. I love Pinterest, as I mentioned before, as a great place to put these gift guides. However, I would also put them on your website or on a blog and also reach out to the people who you've included their products in the guide and get them to link to it as well. It's a great way to get some organic traffic to your site and to hopefully get that shared around a bit so that more people are seeing it and coming to your site. So comment below if you have any ideas for a gift guide that you're interested in creating or maybe you already have created. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe get more videos and tutorials just like this in your YouTube inbox.